What it be, what it do. I'm back with another fucking comedy episode. And I'm Philip the Punisher Collins, if you don't know. And this is the Audio Critics. But as you know, I ain't doing no review besides the view of my life. Anyways, I was going to do a different comedy thing until I saw somebody take a shot at me. Now, they might not personally say it, but how they said it, I'm pretty sure they did. If you watch my other videos, you know the drug problem I had and all that. Well, this person took a shot about people with drugs. And I decided I'm going to do a video about them. And so I'm going to call this one, the, the problems of dealing with a co-host. So as you know, I used to have a co-host, but I don't anymore. Now, I kind of kept it nice on the last, uh, when I talked about why he left and all that. But here's some things that I think you guys should should need, need to know. So, like I talked talk to you, I had this dream... I mean, after all these people told me about being a movie review person, and then I had this dream of doing it. So I contacted contact my friend Tyler on uh, Facebook Messenger. Like, hey, I got this idea. You know, I'll talk to you on Monday. Let's work on this. And everything seemed good. Well, at least for the first couple of videos. And then we were supposed to do Godzilla King of Monsters. And then didn't hear from him. Well, he was like, oh, I got some stuff going on in my life. And I was like, hey, just let me know. You know, that's, you know, so I know what I need to do on my end. And so we moved past that and started really getting behind on our, our, behind our filming. Then we started filming a lot more and we started getting back on track. Well, when he decided, like, like I wrote him multiple days. I wrote him multiple days in a row. When in, in December or November, whatever it was, when we were supposed to do Jumanji, and I would write him text multiple times, no answer. Well, finally, I started writing him on Snapchat so I can see that he looked at him, and he did didn't respond. So I finally told him, I go, hey, don't be Godzilla in me. If you're not gonna show up, just let me know, so I know what I need to do. Well, he uh, texted me this thing and be like, well, to be honest, I think you need to find somebody else. I don't like to be around the drugs, or hard drugs, blah, blah, blah. And plus, I never got to make cha choices. Now, if you know me, or if you know the story, I haven't done anything since June or July of last year. So I'm going on, you know, about as long as somebody has a baby. And I've been doing better ever since I started this channel. I've been I've been sober, you know. Besides drinking and all that, all all the the usual things people do. Well, I honestly think it's because of his girlfriend that he got. He broke up with her because she was clingy, and he started fucking around with all these other people, and then they stopped fucking with him. Well, why not get somebody who you know is going to be there? And that's what he did. Well, she never liked me. And so that's what I really think. Because things that he said just didn't add up. And before you think that I'm just being bitter and all that, let me tell you. When, when we did the uh, Three from Hell review, I bought our tickets. When we went to go see Jay and Silent Bob, I bought our tickets. He was like, oh, I'll pay you back. I was like, no, this is for the channel. It's 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 me helping out this channel so we can review things and you know get more stuff out there and you know just just be a group thing I had no problem with that uh, when he lost his job uh, and he had no money to buy anything in the movie theater like he says members uh, stubs membership um, I'll buy him something to drink I'll buy him Lunch, dinner, whatever. Like if we come, if he was coming over for a double feature, I would make sure we had like pizza or something like that. And if you know me, I just don't do that. You know, I literally open my heart and my family to him. You know, I always make sure we have something to drink. You know, now the problem that I had with him taking a shot at me was I've known know that he's a 
acid person, and I, I have no problem with acid. But you can still overdose off acid the same way you can overdose on heroin. And that's the problem I have. And maybe it's just being a hypocrite thing. Like, you can't talk shit about somebody doing one thing, and then you go and do something just as fucked up. So, the problem with that I have, and the problem I have with him being a co-host, is when him say I, I, he never got to make choices. Only thing I ever was like, it was like, okay... Either I'm on call, I go, okay, so we need to see this movie this day so we can have it out. But, like, I literally did all the scheduling. That's all that I did. Besides, like, I'll be like, hey, so which movie, uh, like, if there was two big movies coming out, I'm like, okay, of these two big, of these two movies, which one would you rather do? I gave him the choice to decide which movie he would rather review. Now, if we came on, on topics of movies, I'd be like, hey, this is the movie I'm thinking about. Pick a movie for your choice. You know, so him saying that he didn't have a choice in anything, I felt like that, that was some BS to me. Now, you guys can let me know what you think. Do you think that it's BS that somebody who's been clean sober for over nine months, about, um, about to be a year and a few months, if you think that he was just taking the pussy way out, I mean, but that's how I feel. And, yeah, this this one's not as funny also, and I'm not trying to make it funny. I'm trying to, you know, like, show you the hardships that, if you got a dream, maybe you need to work on yourself. Like, yeah, maybe you want to be a director, but, you know, start with a script, you know, like, don't have a co-director and all that, because if they don't have the same vision as you... Then it's doomed from the start. And that was the whole thing. Like, I literally came up with movies. I came up with the karaoke. You know, like, how, how to do it. And the reason why I started doing the karaoke is because I knew he wasn't very much of a movie person. Like, he didn't know movie knowledge and who people were or some some facts and all that. So, I wanted to cover up his weakness with making you guys laugh. Instead of taking this as seriously as I do. Um, like, I came up with... Oh, I think we should do hot sauce. You know, take a dab of hot sauce for, for one of our videos. Um, I can, like, the skits that we wrote, the, uh, or I say we wrote, I came up with all the skit ideas. And what pissed me off was we were so close to start filming, and then he canceled. Like, we had this, like, I came up with this idea called Pooh Confessions. Imagine you're sitting in a stall, and then someone sits down next to you. And they start talking to you. Like, I'm not saying, like, it sounds like they're talking on the phone, but, like, like maybe they knock, and they're like, hey, dude, can you believe that my wife is cheating on me? You know, like, weird shit that I thought was, that, would, that I thought would be funny. And he tried to take credit for all this. So, that's my problem that I have with filming with the co-host, that you gotta, every dream that you have, you gotta first achieve it yourself. And then start working around people who's going to help build you up. Now, I thought he, that's what he was going to do. I thought, you know, like I had this idea of like, oh, yeah, like let's not make this channel just about reviewing movies. Like let's get up to reviewing music after a while, reviewing, reviewing restaurants and all that. But he, uh, I, I, I have a friend, Villas Varnes, who's been on this channel multiple times. Said so like, if you want people, more people to follow your Instagram, you gotta follow more people yourself and let them follow. And if they don't, then delete them and blah blah blah. Well, he thought that was selling out. I thought this whole point was to get our name out here. You know what I mean? And maybe that's the problem I have. Like he, maybe he just wanted to do it because it was a hobby. I could have still been his friend if he didn't take the pussy way out and say blame it on drugs and all this shit. If he was just honest and be like, hey, I got a new job, I work out, I got my girlfriend back, and I can't do this channel. Like, you know, I get it, you know, but if he was just honest with me, I could have been totally fine and been his friend and whatnot, and we could have moved past this, and I could have done it myself, maybe got some tips, tips for him, but no. So that's the problem with, that I have with dealing with a co-host. You know, you got you got a if if you got an idea, and this is the moral of the story. If you got an idea, work on it yourself. Like if you have a movie idea, write it yourself. You know, don't you know? Yes, you got to film with other people and all that. Make sure it's your idea. 
You know, make sure that, you know, because nobody knows the movie or whatever idea you have better than yourself. Now, if you're not sure how you want it to go, of course, ask people. And maybe they can give you input. But make sure that it's yours, 90% of it. And, like I said, I know this isn't funny. I'm not trying to make it super funny. Like, because I could tell you more stories that, you know, like, with, um, well, mo- mo- some of those stories is legal. So, I don't want to get into that just yet. But just know, having somebody else there, it, it's kind of like, like if, if I have an idea in my mind, I need to follow it myself. Because when you start having other people's inputs, it fucks up what you want in your life. And just keep that in mind whenever, you know, you go, you come up with an idea. Because if you make it big and you did did 90% of the work without other person just did 10% of just showing up, they're still going to make the same amount as you. Because they're, they're your co-star. Not saying I don't want another co-star, but Next, like, if I get a co-star, I want somebody who, who legit's in this because it's not about, just about making money or nothing like that. It's just about giving our name out there. And I literally <coughs> can say I got most of, most of the people who subscribe because of me because I all, was always posting. I was always talking to people. You know, I thought it was, like, I came up with doing the t-shirts and all that. And he was like, yeah, okay. And, you know. You gotta have somebody who has the same enthusiasticness as you do. So just keep that in mind, guys. You know, and, you know, it is what it is. And, I, you know, to be honest, if I didn't get my, the shots taken at me, I was gonna, when it came to our one year of this channel, I was gonna write them and ask them, like, hey, I know we're not really on good terms, but maybe we can do like a, a, a reunion. And you could talk about what's going on in your life and all that. But after shots got taken at me, I'm like, fuck this. This guy needs to know. I did everything just to make him comfortable in this whole thing. Because I love this. I love what I'm doing. And I'm grateful for what I'm doing. So with that being said, thank you everybody. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like I said, I know this isn't a funny video. But make sh- I'll make sure the next time. Because I'm thinking about... I have a couple ideas of what videos I want to do for my comedy one, and I'll make sure that those are funnier. But thank you for tuning in. Remember, I'm Philip the Pastor Collins. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to go on Instagram and and follow us and just just start talking. You know, like I'm gonna reach back out to you guys as much as I can. Um, and thank you again from the bottom of my heart. This has been another episode of Audio Critics, or Audio Comedy, and like I always say, stay classy, motherfuckers.